Hey, you ever wish you had a list of uh, equipment and uh, supplies for post construction cleanup? Well, I actually put one together for you, and um, you'll be able to find it in the on the janitorial store in the Donald Library. But here's the what I did is I actually created a list of uh, for general cleaning. You know, this this here is the equipment and supplies that you would use on on just about any type of uh, post construction cleanup that you would do. You know, uh, you know, all of them you're going to use an extension ladder, or a step ladder of some sort, backpack or a vacuum. You know, uh, dustpan, broom. You know. Uh, different things like that there, you know, just all the common, common, uh, common items that you would use. Uh, also, the supplies, you know, uh, it's always good to have a tote for your supplies because most of the stuff is all just, uh, you know, handheld uh, uh, items, so it's good to have a tote to keep everything in it. I listed some of the chemicals that you would use, um, you know, and uh, some of the other uh, supplies that you might have, toothbrush, grout brush, and so on and so forth. Um, also, then, what I did is I went ahead and I uh, did one for hard floor care because in some of the cases when we're doing post construction cleanup they're going to ask us to go ahead and strip VCT tile and apply one or two coats of floor finish. So here I listed the, the types of equipment that you may use. Um, so in most cases maybe you're going to use a floor machine uh, either a rotary or cylindrical. Uh, you know that's just a personal preference. I like rotary. I can do uh, much more with that type of equipment. Uh, and I always have brush drives. I use brushes. I don't buy any pads anymore. Um, then if you're doing any ceramic tile and grout, uh, you know, I'd recommend that you use a, uh, you know, a, a 1200 PSI extractor uh, with an XX15 wand. Uh, that's just the way to go. It's just a much, uh, a much better system to have. Uh, I listed some of the supplies on the other side here, you know, for uh, floor strippers, neutral pH floor cleaner, uh, razor knife. Uh, knee pads, floor finish, etc. I left room for you to expand this too for, for items that, that, that I might not have thought of. I uh, put also here for carpet care. Um, you know, uh, sometimes, uh, majority of the time probably what they'll do is they'll ask you to do some carpet spotting. But uh, there, I had a job one time where they didn't do put any protector on the carpet and the, it got trashed and uh, they hired us to go ahead and clean the carpet. So I brought in our hot water extractor you know, and did a hot water extraction on it and uh, uh, dried it and everything and it looked great. So uh, some of the things I got listed here for equipment is, you know, the three gallon pump up sprayer. You know, those are just great for applying your your uh, neutralizers and your pre-sprays. Um, you know, some of your supplies that you'd have is obviously a carpet spotting kit. Within that kit you're going to have the different chemicals that you'll need for, for uh, spotting the carpet to remove whatever it might be. Uh, there'll be a tapping brush in there. Um, and you'll find a uh, you should also have in your uh, carpet spotting kit, you know, some kind of uh, 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 carpet spotting chart. Uh, so it kind of walks you through what you the steps that you want to do for various types of stop, uh, spots. I've got uh, window cleaning too. So on uh, this side again, I've got the equipment. So you know, you may have uh, uh, you know window cleaning bucket. You might use a five gallon bucket. Um, you know, you might have a hip bucket on a belt. Uh, so for any of us that have uh, done a lot of window uh, window cleaning and have been up on a step ladder uh, and or uh, extension ladder, you know, a hip bucket on a belt is the way to go because now you've got all your tools right there on your belt. Uh, you'll be able to have your T-bar applicator and your squeegee and your, uh, your sponges and your uh, cloths and everything on your belt. Um, some of the other things that I put in here, um, was uh, uh, the T-bar applicator, obviously. Extension poles, they're always handy. Uh, then I put an adjustable offset adapter. So for for you, uh, for those of you that don't know what that is, uh, this, is a, uh, is, this is an adapter. And what it does is it, it connects uh, onto your extension pole. Um, and this one here is an unger. Uh, then you have an actual swivel. You can adjust the, the, the angle of this here to whatever angle that you need it for. Uh, for when you're washing an overhang or something like that, this here you're going to hold, you're going to go ahead and put your applicator on there, or your squeegee, or a fixie clamp, or or some you know whatever it is that you're that you're uh, trying to do. But that's all this is. Uh, it works great. So you should have these in your arsenal if you're uh, window cleaning. What I put on the uh, supply side was. Uh, uh, some of the you know dish dish soap uh, that's probably one of the best things I always use Dawn dish soap uh, you don't need no fancy window cleaning uh, solutions or anything like that 
um, microfiber cloth chamois, seafoam sponge, you know, four out steel wool, uh, hard water remover, you know, and the uh, lint free gloves and microfiber uh, pads. Now, the microfiber pads are for um, uh, a telescopic uh, handle with a microfiber pad holder. Uh, when you're doing, oh, let's say you got uh, two story windows or some that are kind of uh, kind of difficult to, to wash where you don't want to drip water on anything, well, you're going to use a telescopic handle with a microfiber pad holder on it, and you're, you're going to attach a microfiber pad to it that you've pre-sprayed with glass cleaner, and then you just raise that up and uh, take it to the window, and you clean the window that way. So you really minimize the amount of water that you put on, put on the pad and apply to the window, uh, and that's really the way to go. So, well, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe down below. And uh, don't forget to click on the like and share. Uh, go ahead and share this with other people. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've uh, got many more documents like this in the construction uh, cleaning uh, section of the download library of the janitorial store. Uh, you'll find proposals, letters. Uh, you know, I'm going to put some brochures in there and some marketing materials and different things like that, too. But... Hopefully you'll, you'll find it helpful and, uh, you know, we'll keep on putting this stuff in there and giving you some good information to help you grow your cleaning business. Until then, have a good one.